In this video, we're going to look at how to find the equation of a tangent to a circle. Um, so to do that, we've got four or five different topics that you need to know how to, to do or you need to be confident with before you tackle this topic. Okay, the first one is you need to know circle theorems, uh, and that's video 64 in corporate maths if you need to refresh yourself on those. And in particular, this one circle theorem, that if you get a radius and a tangent that meet at a particular point, they meet at 90 degrees. Okay, so in other words, they're perpendicular to each other. So the red line and the green line are perpendicular. Next, you need to know how to find the gradient of a line. So uh, that's video 189 in corporate maths, and that's found by rise over run. So if you divide the rise by the run, you can find the gradient. Again, if you're familiar with that, fantastic. If not, give yourself a refresh on video 189. Next, we need to know two different things here. We need to know how to find the reciprocal of a number, and that's video 145. And the next thing we need to know is we need to know how to find the gradient of a perpendicular line. Um, so for instance, if the line here uh, has a gradient of two, the other line that's perpendicular to it will have a gradient of minus a half, because if the gradient of a line's m and the other one's perpendicular to it, it'll have the gradient minus one over m. Again, if, that's, if you're familiar with that, fantastic. If not, watch videos 145 and 197. And finally, we need to know how to find the equation of a line if you know a point on it, so the x and the y, and you know the gradient m. So in other words, finding the y-intercept. And if you, need, you know how to do that, fantastic. If not, watch video 194. Let's have a look at our example now. So, the diagram shows a circle x squared plus y squared equals 40 with a tangent at the point 2, 6. So here we've got the line here, uh, the tangent, this uh, line here, uh, which touches the circle at 2, 6 and carries on. And we're trying to find the equation of this uh, tangent. Now what I've done is I've drawn the radius, the line from the center, the O, the origin, or the center of the circle O, uh, to the tangent, okay? So in other words, the radius and the tangent are drawn. Now we know that these two will meet in 90 degrees. So in other words, we know that this line is perpendicular to this line. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to find the gradient of OP. Okay, so the gradient of OP, of OP. Now, the gradient is equal to rise over run. Okay, now the rise here, well, it goes across 2, so the run's 2, and the rise, it goes up 6, is 6. Okay, if you divide the rise by the run, 6 divided by 2 will give you 3. So the gradient of OP is equal to 3. Now the gradient of the tangent then, because it's the perpendicular to it, will be the negative reciprocal. So the gradient of the tangent, of the tangent, that's going to be the negative reciprocal of that. So the negative, well, the reciprocal of three is a third. Negative reciprocal minus one third. So we know this line here has a gradient of minus one third. Now let's find the equation of it. Well, the equation of a straight line is in the format y equals mx plus c. Now we know this gradient, the m. So it's y equals minus a third x plus c. Now the, also we know a point on the line. We know the point P is on the line, and that point P is the point 2, 6. So if we put these in here, we can get the C, and then know the equation of the tangent. So let's put the point in here. So let's put in 2, 6 into here. So uh, Y, well, a coordinate comes in the form of X, Y. So we're going to get 6 equals minus uh, a third times X. Now, X is equal to 2, so times 2 plus C. Well, let's work out our minus a third times two. Well, minus a third times two is minus two thirds. So we're gonna get six equals minus two thirds plus C. And we were trying to find out what the C is, so we need to get rid of this minus two thirds. So we're gonna add two thirds to both sides. So that'll give us that six and two thirds equals C. We can make this a top heavy fraction if we wanted to. So we could do six times three is equal to 18 plus two is 20. So that's 20 over three equals C. Either one's fine. Now we want to find the equation of the tangent. So that's going to be, it's y equals mx plus C. We know the gradient's equal to minus one third. So it's y equals minus one third x. And then we know the y-intercept, the C is equal to 20 over three. So plus 20 over three, or we could have put it in here, six and two thirds is fine as well. And that's it. So the equation of this tangent is y equals minus a third, as it's going down, uh, plus 20 over three. That's where it crosses the y-axis, and that's it. Just to recap the steps, to find the gradient, uh, equation of this tangent, step number one, we found the gradient of the radius by doing rise over run, so that was three. Then taking the negative reciprocal, so that's minus a third, and then putting the minus a third into y equals mx plus c, and also the point two six into y equals mx plus c to find the c, and then putting the c back into the y equals mx plus c, and then that will give us our answer here. And that's it. 